This video will be on creating presets. Super exciting! Alright, what we gotta do is we have to create an off preset. That way we can trigger it to shut off at night. So we're gonna turn the power off. I'm gonna create a preset over here. Name it off. And it'll save to unit ID 1. Save preset. You can minimize it. Now, let's turn the power back on and pick a cool effect. Let's go red, white, blue. Say, yeah, we want to use just those colors. Let's do something crazy cool like fireworks and hit peak right here to see what it's doing. And I've got my segments funky. Let's put them back to normal. So you can see it come across here and explode like a firework. So I like that. It looks good. Let's create preset. Name it. And then save it. Make sure this is selected. Use current state. If it's not, it won't update it. It won't save it exactly like you have it. And then you can minimize that. Let's say you want to do a nice ambiance on the house. Let's create white. Um, you can do default. It really doesn't matter. Color one. You're just choosing it to use white. Now, solid. It's kind of cool. No matter where you're at, solid's always right here for you. Click it. Spacing. We're going to click four. Make sure you hit the check mark. Now, start LED. It just starts down there. Grouping is one, so one LED, spacing is four. If you make it more, it will space it further apart. If you want two LEDs on and then spacing five, you'll have two on and then five off, two on, five off. So hopefully that makes sense. Grouping, one LED. So we have one on, four off, one on, four off. It's a really nice look at night. If your house is kind of an earth tone, maybe you want to do a warm light right here. That looks really nice. That's, that's a pretty good 3000 Kelvin lighting. But now that we have our preset we like, create preset. I'm going to put four space warm white. So save it. Minimize it. Now we have off, fireworks, on, and you can do this all day long creating presets. Now, the number next to off is 1, firework is 2, or space white. So click these, you'll see it do just that. It'll shut off. Firework, it's kind of a shortcut. It's really nice. And that's what it is. So now that you've created presets, you can use them to automate your lights at night. So remember this number, 1 is off, 2 is firework. Go to configure, time and macros, make sure your time set, mine is mountain standard time, you can update it manually or automatically from the server. So down here is what we're looking for. We want it to come on, let me reset it so I don't confuse you. Oops. Okay, you'll have all zeros. Now, at 7 o'clock or 1900 hours, you want preset 2 to come on. And let's say you want to shut it back off at 10 o'clock, which was 1. So remember this preset 1 is off, preset 2 is the fireworks and remember where I got that right back here so one is off two is fireworks three is the four space warm white so that's a macro it goes with your effect one off, two firework. Back to configure. 
time and macros all the way down. So at seven o'clock military time, it triggers two, which is the firework effect. At 11 o'clock, or excuse me, 10 o'clock, it triggers one, which is off. Let's say instead of turning it off, you want to turn on those warm or space white lights. So it will turn on your fireworks until 10 o'clock. Then it will turn on your warm lighting at night. And then let's say five in the morning, you want to shut it off. So five o'clock AM, you want to trigger preset one, which is off. Save it. So let that sink in. Seven o'clock, fireworks. 10 o'clock, warm ambient, four space white lighting. Five o'clock in the morning, off. I haven't got the sunrise sunset to work, so don't worry about that. Save it. Back to the controls. And that's how you set your presets, and that's how you trigger them to turn on and off automatically. That's it for that one.